Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin, and you're watching How Do I Use Windows Phone 7 on Butterscotch.com. Today we're taking a look at the video and photo capabilities of Windows Phone 7. Now, first things first, Windows Phone 7 does things a little bit differently. First off, we can launch the camera by going through and uh, tapping on the menu item. However, as, as the um, hardware tends to have a hardware camera button, we can just tap and hold that. We'll feel a vibration, and then our camera immediately comes up, which I think is a pretty neat touch. So now we're actually getting a view on the scene behind the, uh, behind the lens here. We can see Strong Bad and his buddy, the Snitch. Now we can actually use uh, the buttons here to zoom in and out. It is obviously a digital zoom. We can also delve into some of the settings here. Now some of these will vary by, uh, by the different um, uh, hardware manufacturers. In this case, we're seeing we have uh, a variety of different, um, which are you know, pretty comparable to a consumer level point and shoot options. We can turn uh, anti-shake on or off. We can choose to use the flash or not, and things like that. We'll just store this to default. And we tap on this button here to turn flash on or off, or set it to automatic. Now we use this button down here to toggle between still and video recording mode. In this case, we can do up to a 720p um, resolution video. Press the dedicated uh, hardware camera key to start recording. We hear a chime, and now we're actually seeing it count up as we record. Press the button again to stop recording. And same functionality for the camera, just hit the button and you'll get a camera sound. And back to your camera. So here we have uh, pretty heavily billed as our pictures hub. So we'll tap on that. And again, the paneled interface. So now we can get a view on the different pictures that we have. We can also see uh, f pictures that have recently been posted up to Facebook or any of the other uh, social services that we've, that we've linked into. So here we can see our actual photo gallery. So we'll tap on this one. And we can see and scroll through our pictures like this. We can also choose to add to favorites. We can delete photos here. We can upload to SkyDrive, which is uh, a, store, a storage option, a cloud storage option that uh, Windows Live provides to pretty much anyone who has a Windows Live account. And we can also choose to change the background picture that we see on our, um, on our hub and on the uh, menu item. So we can choose here to either change the background image and choose something from our photo gallery or change it for me and uh, Windows Phone 7 will actually make a selection. And they do a pretty good job. They tend to find ones that you can still see uh, the menu items that you're, that you're trying to read. Now because we do have a GPS in the device, we can actually choose to geotag our images. We'll go have a look at uh, showing you how to do that. So again, we need to find our way to the settings menu. We need to go into applications, and in this case, we need to choose pictures and camera. Tap on that. Now we can see um, this is the hardware uh, wake button that we mentioned. So when we press and hold the, um, the hardware phone button, it will actually power up and go straight into, uh, into the camera application. You can turn that off if you don't like that feature. Now we can also choose to include GPS data in the pictures that we take. Now this is going to use a bit more battery. Um, so you'll want to be selective as to when you do this. You might want to do it, for example, if you're on vacation. If you're just around town snapping photos, probably not that important to have on. But this will actually add geo geotag data to the photos that you take. We can also choose to automatically upload to our SkyDrive. And we can also, down here, um, choose where we want to upload um, our pictures to. So we can choose, we can quick upload to Facebook by choosing this option here we need to turn this on as well. And now all the pictures that we take will automatically be synced up with Facebook. May not be a good idea to do that though, truth be told. Before we sign off, we'll have a quick look at how to change the home screen lock wallpaper, which you can see here, that you see every time you uh, power up your phone. So to do that, we go into our pictures hub again. Find a picture we want to use. Cats are popular, right? Yeah. Tap and hold. Now we can actually use as wallpaper. Now this will actually add it to our home, home lock screen. Let's use use as wallpaper. 
select the crop ratio, hit OK. And now, anytime we power up our phone, that's the picture we'll see on our home lock screen. So that's a look at photos and videos on Windows Phone 7. For How Do I on Butterscotch.com, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. Thanks for watching.